Hello everyone. In this video, I am uh, trying to draw a pencil portrait of twin girls. Uh, their names are uh, Sumna and Sunayana. They are the daughters of uh, my senior, Dr. Prashanti Lakshmi. So the twin girls have asked me to make a video on how I am drawing their uh, pencil portrait and explain uh, all the techniques that I use in drawing these uh, portraits. So this video will be a very long one. Uh, I will start from the initial uh, image, how to draw a grid and then shading and uh, trying to explain how I take the task and I move forward step by step. This video is especially for the kids who have asked me to explain uh, step by step. So let's start. They sent me their image. They wanted to give a very tough task to me, so this is the image they have sent me. So, and when I go to the details, details will tell you on which uh, the file information on which date it was taken. It was taken on 21st July 2010, and uh, 2010, maybe they were around one year old at that time, or even younger than that. They were born on November 1st, I think, as far as I remember, they were born on November 1st on the Andhra Pradesh Formation Day. Even Ileana has her birthday on November 1st. So I remember their birthday. So this may be November, December and 7th. Somewhere around 8 months old picture. When they were 8 months old, this picture was taken at that time. The image size is given in pixels. It is saying that. 1990 into 1601 pixels. 1990 pixel is the basic unit of an image which has its own individual color. So any digital image is divided into number of pixels. Number of pixels are nothing but a grid size. Like there are many horizontal and vertical lines which divide the image into smaller units smaller units called the pixels just think these are the each individual this thing is called a pixel so the details of the image say that it is there are 1990 pixels on one side 1990 pixels on one side on the length side, on the height side, it is around 1601 pixels. So it contains, if I multiply 1901 into 1601, 1990, then I get the number of pixels that are there. So the image which is stored in a digitized form has the address, each address of the pixel and the color that is given to it. The number of pixels in an image may change. Maybe the same can be divided into, if at all, I can take the length around 5000 into 2000, 2500. This may be 2500, 5000. So, if I increase the number of rows and columns, then the pixel size decreases and the volume, the size of the image increases. You can see the size of the image here is 1.02 MB. So if I increase the number of pixels in this image, if I take a high resolution image, then the size of the digital image will increase. This is because as I said earlier, each and every pixel has its own address. Let me say this is row, row 1, column 1, row 1, column 1 is the address of it and the color whichever it is color value is given here then row 1 column 2 color value row 3 column 2 row 1 column 3 so as you go on you go to how many rows you have how many rows around 1600 rows 1600 rows and 1990 columns so the image the distance image has these many values let me check how many values that it has. 
16 zero one. This having 31 lakh 85,990 pixels. So now if I increase, if I increase the number of pixels, if I take a very high resolution image from the camera, then I will have 5,000 into 2500. It is having 125 lakh. 125 means 1 crore 25 lakh. So there will be 1 crore 25 lakh values. So the image size increases. If 31 lakh has got how much? 1.02 MB. Then if I, it is nearly 4 times of this one. 4 and it will be 4.08 MB. So the high resolution image will be having 4.08 MB. When I go to paint or uh, any photo editing software, if I want to reduce the resolution, what it does is it will take three or four pixels, average out the color and give one value to it. For example, the row one, row two, row one, row two and row three. Then column one, column two, column three. This whole thing will be merged into one single pixel. So all these things will have only single value. When so when the resolution is reduced, then the image size also gets reduced. The image size reduces even far below because the number of addresses and their color values have decreased when I reduce the resolution. So the image is divided into how many? 31,85,990 grids, pixels. So it is having, as I already drawn here, 1990, 1990 columns and 16 rows. To draw such a digital image or any image, what I do is I use the same method, but here it is a quite different method because I am not a computer, but I can work on the same basis why you want to use a grid the first use of grid method is to maintain proportions of the eye shape size what is the distance between these two eyes so the facial features of different persons vary because of the proportion of their nose shape of the nose shape of the ears where the ears are placed how much width is the mouth and how far it is from the nose, what is the width of the upper lip and how the eyebrows are done, what is the width of the forehead, where the hair start, the hair, where does it turn, all these are the things which are uh, defining a face. So to differentiate from face to face, you should have the exact proportions and differences that you see in a face. For that using a grid method is the best method. The other use of a grid method is to enlarge or to reduce the image size. If you have a handheld image size and you want to draw a very big canvas then you can do scaling. So the grid is used for scaling. For example if on the image, if on the image one centimeter, if the full image is around 7 cm by 7 cm I if I want to make the 7 cm by 7 cm into 21 cm by 21 cm then I draw a grid which is having on the image if it is having 1 cm then I use a grid which is 3 by 3 right which is having 3 cm by 3 cm so in this way I can use the grid to enlarge the image Sometimes during our childhood days, we used to see there were no flex printing at that time. So for the bigger holdings that are on the highways, while going to school, uh, I always used to see the painters used to have a small handheld paint photograph having the grid and they used to enlarge it on the holding. The painting that they were doing on the holding was enlarged by somewhere around 100 to 150 times as they had a very handheld one and the holding would be 30 by 
30 by 20 meters or 30 by 50 meters or so so they used to enlarge the image from the handheld pen holding so the grid is used in enlarging the images so there are two uses of the grid one for the first use is to get the proportions right proportions in the sense the uh, separation between the eyes the length the breadth and the size of the eyes the width of the nose the difference between the lips upper lip and the nose the size of the forehead all this stuff so this getting them in proportions is the first use and the second use is to enlarge so now i am going to draw a grid on the image that they have sent this is the image that they have sent now i am going to edit this I'll go to crop then I want I want to do it a square one the image I want it to be a square one so I'll go to 1 is to 1 so I can adjust whichever way I want I want both the hands so okay I think this looks good I'll crop this image I'll save it try to I'll make a black and white one first because I'm using a pencil portrait Save. now we can see when I made one is to one then the pixels along the rows and the column should be the same now let us see the details this image now you can see that the number of pixels are 1601 into 1601 so since 1 is to 1 there are equal number of pixels on the length as well as the breadth side and the image has got reduced to 780 kb I use drawing grid app for uh, drawing the grids so how much grid cell size should I use the grid cell size depends on on the complexity of the image if the image has so many curves not simpler ones then it is better to have more number of grids grid columns and grid rows so the pixel size should be a smaller one when you have a very detailed image but in, for portraits on all since you have a common cheek line jaw line then a nose these are all a bigger features so since this image has got only two faces it is better not to have too much smaller grid spacing so here I will be using maybe 20 by 21 or even lesser one 15 by 15 will be doing good here so let me check and do I got this one I'll go to how many 1 2 3 4 5 see in this image I got 1 2 3 4 5 but the finer details like the finger there are many details in one single box so if I use this much grid spacing I can't do the detailing very well so I'll use a largest larger number of rows and columns it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is 5 by 5 mat grid. Now I want to make it 20 by 20 and see how much it happens. has got a single finger in it so this much detailing is okay for me to draw because any feature if I want to see they are either in one or two grid boxes now you see here the eye hair, whole of the eye is in four grid boxes but now but if I see the length it is only in a single box the length of the eye is in a single box so this grid 
which is 20 by 20 is sufficient for me to do, draw the detailing. So I'll save it. It has been saved. So this is the grid which I got. It is having 20 rows, 20 rows and 20 columns. For the details which I have here, if the lips, the ears and the nose, if the facial feature come in into one or two grid boxes, then it is okay for me. Then I can do the detailing very well. I can't do too many grid boxes so that it is not required for me because it takes a lot of time to draw the grid and I feel like for uh, uh, for the person who is drawing who has just started drawing for him even uh, higher grid spacing is required so that I have the confidence that I can draw the curve while having the grid reference the box reference so I'm using this spacing for the one who is even a far better expert he can have a bigger grid box so that he can do the detailing so it depends on the person who is drawing it I'm confident about this grid spacing so I'm using this grid spacing now let's start drawing it now I have to check how much my paper size is so that I can utilize most of the space, the best space that can be utilized in the paper. The length of the, the height of the paper or the breadth of the paper is more than 40. So I can utilize 40 centimeters. Then I can use each pixel to be 2 centimeters each. So the width is enough. Centimeters. 2 centimeters is left. And so it is around 42 centimeters. I will leave 1 centimeter on the top. Then I take 40 centimeters here. So each pixel on this would be 2 centimeters.